Thanks for messing around. Vampire Survivor's Beswick 122 continues in the Mad Forest with Impostorina, who silver tongues everything. Also, Abyss Foscari. Time for some Vampire Survivors. It's imposter in time. Okay. Recovery up. Recovery up. Empty tome is on the map. Uh, let's see. So spinach, pomerola, hollow heart, and well, I guess it's going to be candle arbor And then we'll see where it goes from there. Wings actually might be not the worst. Duplicator. Duplicator could do things. Duplicator's there. And it's gonna do you doing things. Crown is on the map. Spinach is not. Get that sharp tongue in here. Oh, there we go. I forgot about this. It, ah, yes. I forgot the mini as well. Oh, I don't really need a six. It's not that helpful. So I should just go crazy. Rina is just going to be eating everything this time. Sure, Genevieve can eat the world, but can they Genevieve tongue as much as this? I don't think so. Oh, hey. Let's start getting my passives. Right in this chains. I'm invincible. What am I doing? Charge! Charge through. Destroy everything. Go away, right? Sharp Tongue gets the benefit of Slash, so let's grab Slash. Oh wait, I'm taking... Oh no, I had damage. Oh, silly. Look at how far those tongues shoot out. You never realize it's a perfectly normal whatever Among Us's are. Oh, right. Uh, is there any more armor on the map? Wow, that was a lot of levels. Nope, just one. Let's get rid of the skulls just to be fun. And my health didn't go down. I just gained a lot of maximum health, so the percentage bar is filled less in. Nope, oh, get that silver ring. Look at how big these tongues are. Oh wow, and pus the tongue already. It's only gonna get sillier. Man, getting levels like mad too. I don't even have crown yet. Oh, hey, got a freeze frame of the graphic there when you explode into Megalo mode. Say goodbye, prismatic missile. Oh, Academy badge, Academy badge, does whatever Academy badge can. What it does is very important because it's more attacks and more vibes. And you lose some experience with it. That's not important. It's like, what, 15 at best? That's counteracted by the crown entirely. 
Still going crazy with the Mega Lowen. Look at these poor Atlanteans, they can't do anything. Nothing can do anything against the power of the Megalo. Even Genevieve will stop. Alright, the transfer point is on par with the Empty Tome. So I can grab these, go fight Genevieve, then come back and farm some of the Golden Eggs in Atlantis. Empty Tome, how could I lose? I get one empty tome or two empty tomes or all the empty tomes in the world? It's a very good question. Just absolute, completely invincible. Both literally and because it's so strong. Actually, that should have gone the other way. Because it's so strong, and also because it's literally invincible. Oh, crap. Oh, dang it. Well, one level is disastrously bad. Actually, no, I can't... I can still max out-ish. And one level doesn't really change anything. Character basically chains being invincible anyway. Might actually go. Get off me, bug. Man, maybe I should have grabbed the curse. They're going down this easy. Oh, hey, I'm making, actually making Genevieve bigger. That would be nice. Uh, nope, just annihilated in no time. Oh, well. No, I don't want Melisa's. Yeah, if I'm just going to be able to chain it endlessly like this, I'm going to go for maximum. Curse that I can. So I really I should have left it all on the map just in case I could. I have so many levels at once. Wait. Did I really go through it that fast? There it is. Oh, hey, I'm no longer invincible. Now yeah, well, I am again. Shoot him up, spin him out into experience. Wow, I maxed. Right, I don't have gold ring in the Taglio, right? I only have Tarona's box. And that is not really doing much. Well, granted, it's only nine minutes in, and I am about to go in limit break. And a good limit break, too, not a bad one with the base weapon. Oh. Well, that's how it has to be. Man, it annihilates them. That was. Oh, hey. Options, flashing, damage, well, flashing on. Oh, well, I'm regular. No oh, candy box. No, no to you, candy box. Ew. It is a bit dicey. In fact, it's very dicey. Man, the curse is crazy on this map. And of course that happens. Oh, that is what awake is for.
Nope, oh, there's one down. How many more to go? It just had to be this random event, too. This really bad one. Oh, there's, like, hidden shooters. Huh. Oh, boy. Yeah, if I probably had gotten Shadow Server, this would probably be no trouble. Well, also, if I kept this chain in, it'd have been no trouble. Oh, later clones. Maybe I can chain it off now. Big sweeping circles. Just destroy so many screens worth, and hopefully it'll go and chain together correctly. Nope. Still doing a lot of damage, but it's not I'm in invincible mode for forever now. Oh boy. That's very dangerous. Don't give me curse. Give me something that are not curse. Hey, chicken. There's a rosary down here somewhere. Ouch. Oh boy. Popped a bunch of revives. I have four revives left for 15 minutes. That's not good. Constant invincibility confused me into thinking I could take it with the curse. But it was wrong. And I got some golden eggs out of it. So, next run is going to be more feasible. Especially because I won't have curse on. Oh, light source. Oh, can it have been a chicken, eh? Oh, invincible mode. And Aura Logan. Wow. Wait, no, I'm invincible, not time frozen. Let's get down here and get these. Well, dang it, I was hoping to save that for when it ran out so I could circle protect. Uh oh. Not even Fire Tornado can save me now. Light sources tend not to spawn in here, so I'll go out back into normal space. Normal space? Dang. Probably would have just enough to get out if I hadn't grabbed Shadow Servant like a dingus. Anything over on the left? Just some vacuums. I mean, my defense is pretty high between the recovery and the armor. And the high health and the Cervante of healing. But that's not going to be enough for the final Doom Waves. They are way too hurtful. Oh, I'm walking into a wall. I'm walking into many walls. Oh, that was lucky. What? I don't think I've ever seen these brown thingies before. Supposed to be tapers. Wow, they're healthy and damaging. Very damaging, in fact. I got any jellyfish, they're safer. Oh, hey, a wall. Yep, this is gonna end poorly. Three revives for 20 minutes is not good. Hey, a chicken. I don't have the speed to outrun him either. Uh, no arcana would have been helpful. 
Okay, another... Wait, what? Why are you moving during Orologian? Holy crap, I've never seen that before. I guess when you get imposter tongue, it somehow with messes with the flags. Huh. Oh, hey, nice weak zombies to run into me and do no damage. Chicken. Yay, megalom form. Alright, almost a third of the way through. I haven't wa lost one of the very precious revives. Okay. This is looking more and more feasible, but it's really the final waves that are the absolute scariest. Oh, and right into a rosary, too. Okay, gotta stay near the zombies that are... Oh, no, wait, these are mud men. Gotta stay near... Wait. Dun, 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 dun. I think they're the Mudmen anyway. Maybe there's a different name than Abyss Voskari. No. Uh -oh. Crazy wave. Oh, there's a chicken over there. Gotta go grab it. Don't know where it is. There it is. Yes, just in time. Not good. So when it gets really, really durable. Gotta stay near these zombies. They're the ones that do the least damage. Oh, no, that was just a rosary, not a megalo mourn. Boy, would it have been helpful to have a megalo. Okay, these are the less dangerous sides, so let's run into them constantly. Ooh, this is a nail biter. Yes, lucky, lucky with random events. Very lucky with random events. No stalker even. Which means he's probably going to show up at the 29 minute mark and eat up both my remaining revives. Yep, get to zombies. Get to light sources. Oh, that was bad. Zombies, though. Mud men. Rotten ghoul. Ghoul imitators. Come on. Yes, nice. Incredible luck with this. No skill, only luck. Why play well when you can rely on things, the RNG rolling in your favor constantly? Oh, man. 120 for two lives. Not looking good, though. Light source over there. Not remotely what I needed. Yep, big final Lita boss waves. Oh, there were two chickens there. And hey, I finally remember to turn the flashback on like the comment header requested. Oh, barely able to make it, but that was a real close one, but I did it. Well, I barely did it. I just had a ton of random event luck. Phew. 158 million. It could have been so much further without Shadow Servant wasting time. Well, that's round one done. 
Stay tuned for round two on Mad. This is really... This is a lot of defeats in. It's just not been a very fun time. I'm completely wrecking my sleep schedule. I'm completely wrecking my streaming. Just to get this in, because it just keeps losing and losing. And none of them are good loot bosses either. It was crab battle. I mean, I need Silver Tongue with Gemini here. Because Raw Impasta Tongue and Sharp Tongue are just terrible. They're just bad. Not like Corelo bad, but still. They're not a weapon that would select without a specific build or for a solo duplicator. And now I will not see it for forever. Anyway, I have to go and get spinach first. The damage just eventually fades off so hard. Crown. Duplicator and mini. I've already, like, so many videos down of having to repeat the same points over and over. Just like the character isn't even bad, it's just the weapon is terrible for a solo. Just so few advantages. Heck, most... You know, the weapon's only good here because the character can compensate with the melee form. Most others won't get that benefit. No one else... Nearly everyone else wouldn't get that benefit. I mean, I could banish wings. I'm not going to pick up wings. Okay, so here it has to affect it since it's getting base area. There's my mini. Max out the mini. Then wait for seven minutes. I think that's where the part with the killer on fun thing is, is just waiting for the boss to show up so I can take it down. Oh, there's my duplicator. Yep, oh, now it's just a waiting game. I wonder why this stage doesn't inverse allow you to get it immediately, like with basically every other inverse stage. Yeah, I wonder if I don't want to evolve it. I mean, Pasta Tongue does a lot of damage. Having the knives would be actually very helpful. If I could go off now, I could round up stuff better, power up earlier. You know what? If this fails, I will do that. I'll just not evolve the tongue. Might be better this way. Instant killing chef isn't really that helpful. I mean, instant killing one chef isn't that helpful. Destroying a bunch is very good. I don't want to max out my levels just yet so I can get the spinach on the map. If I just do it now, I'll get so many levels, grab it all immediately, and then round about. Hey, luck. I'm not going to get slashed for the second. I don't. Well, I need, need it. I do need it. But the risk is too high to not have a wake. Heck, even with a wake, I'm still probably not going to go that far. Like, it's still shocking that Abyss Foscari was actually easier than this. Yeah, I had a ton of luck, but I'm getting some luck here. 
Like, no stalkers have been showing up, no grounders. And the Starburst has only been when I've been in Megalo. Not a lot of food luck, but hey, better than nothing. It's just having both Pomerola and the Metaglio maxed out so fast with the armor. And heck, I have Hello Heart on top of it. So it's very durable with Cerebonde. But I am not durable here. And even if I built for durability, I have to do this dumb weight strategy if I want to actually evolve the weapon in time to maximize my power. And you gotta maximize the power if you want to survive. it up pretty long, but as soon as I start moving, it's going to go. Hey, Fire Tornado. That's such a neat effect. You don't really see it that often. You don't get Gemini that often, you know? Especially in the DLC characters. Heck, Impost Sharp Tongue is one of the few ones that gets multiple Arcana to it, since you have both Slash and Gemini with it. And beginning, but everything gets to the beginning unless it doesn't have an amount with it. Bye bye. Alright. Now I just need to grab Tier Jisu. Yes, I was going for Tier Jisu. Nope, don't get a red gem. Well, that was timely. Alrighty. What's in time? Finish you, oh, Torona's box. Uh, oh, I hit a vacuum. No, get away, gems. I don't need you. I don't want you. I have three on the back end. That's it. Uh oh, dang terrain. Oh, and of course it runs out when I actually need it. That's just sort of the story of this situation. Once you get deep enough, it just doesn't chain together like it used to. Stalker. And of course you don't get wiped out in one hit by it, why would you? That would be helpful. And you aren't even getting one shot. Alright. Gotta get that awake. Alrighty, six revives, I get stronger off of each one. Let's see how bad I lose this time. Oh, there's one. Oh, NFT, who may be the only thing that could possibly save me. Oh, Megalo, of course. It's kind of strange how the Drowner kept getting its giant size stacked while well, it seems the Drowner goes back to normal. Why is, why is speed even a thing? I have some eggs on this character too because I was in Atlantis for a bit. And yet they're still having so much trouble. Not like I even got that much curse. I got one point. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, that's lucky again. Not even sure if Stalker is still there. Oh, Megalo again. Okay, if I can get both the health increasing ones, I might just barely be able to make it through this. Of course, if I could get Megalo during Mummy Wave, that would be really helpful. 
No, oh. oh, I need chests. I get stuff from chests. They are helpful. Is there another one here? No, too far back. Time is too essential. Gotta keep pressing forward. Come on, I have spinach and bumrola. And yet you're still causing troubles for me. Man, what is with the NFT spawn in here? Pretty nutty. Okay, everything's maxed out, so I don't need that chest. Yeesh, how are they surviving? I have spinach and... Yeah, I guess I was getting off by, off by crits. They'd really do a megalo. My damage is still going to be going up, even if it's bit by bit. More crits is more damage. Oh, I was lucky. That isn't helpful. Or Logan. Oh, wait. The chest has clovers in it. Man, that's a big thunder outside. But this is no thunder loop from down under. Wow, that lasted no time at all. Oh, make all good. If I can just grab the Metaglio, I might have enough damage to get through. Sharp Tongue and Imposta Tongue, hey, get damage scaling off of recovery. That's why I was going through Sarabande stuff. But I guess that isn't actually affecting it, huh? Uh oh. Oh, and Stalker 2, are you kidding me? possible situation. Oh, that was lucky. Uh, this character will only survive through sheer luck, not anything remotely resembling skill. And, of course, you get unfrozen by Imposta Tongue for some reason. Why is that not lasting any time at all? Oh, that was a ton of levels at once. And yet, still can't clear anything out. Chicken. Flowers do no damage. I mean, I do a lot of damage. I can actually wipe out flowers. No, I can't. I'm not destroying any of them. Alrighty, time for some Sarabonda. It's almost five health a second, and of course, Stalker is a bad enemy. Candy box I can't use, and double Atlantean. Got a fight way away through flowers. And through defanged zombies or mummies. Does this wave last forever for some reason? Should could use some of those NFTs you were giving me earlier. Well, Stalker seems to have been pushed out at some point. 
impossible to know when, though, in this mess. Well, there's a tip for you. If you ever get in danger, just run into the flower, since they do basically nothing. There's that NFT I was hoping for. Huh? Did one of them get... I swear I just saw it go down. And it's right there. Oh well, charge through. Hey, none of these flowers you don't want to run into. You probably don't have any choice if you're using just a not so great combination. Like, you know, solely solo pasta tongue. Huh, another candy box. I could have eight weapons. So much health. And a good chunk of health regeneration, too. Wait, is it maxed out? It is maxed out. Weird. Why did I think it was ended at 2.5? I'm not sure how feasible getting up to the silver ring is going to be, considering how bad the way to clear here is. Cosmo had this weapon, it would be bang, bang, nothing, trouble. It scales off recovery, Cosmo gets recovery. Heck, I think there's some other characters that get recovery too. Dang, hiccup. And I have the heart maxed out. And I... Three revives. Man, how have I popped three revives? Crazy. Not even to the worst waves yet. Stay away from me, things that can actually hurt. Man, even then, they're still taking out like hundreds of health. Okay. Very doubtful that with this chicken spawn that I'm going to lose this point, but man, what a trial getting this far. And of course you go Megalo at the end when you really didn't need to. Oh hey, wing spawned. The one thing I banished. Wait, how far back did they spawn? I wasn't ever even here. Jeez, that's weird. Oh, shouldn't have grabbed that. Yeah, banished wings. Well, whatever, 10% speed is 10% speed. I should not have ate all those. Well, it doesn't matter. I win. Ah, the sweet release of death. Embrace me, my darling. 1.8 billion damage and imposter tongue still felt so weak. That's the story how it goes, eh? Well, it was incredibly painful the second time around, but Impostorina has taken out two more swigs on the Beswick. 172 and 173 are done. Next up is going to be Scientist Mina, which should be a whole lot easier on account of the whole can basically become invincible thing. Thanks for watching. Hope you had some fun. Liked if you liked. Disliked if you didn't. Give a comment if there's any builds you want me to try. A subscription if you want to support the channel. Have a good day and keep messy.